Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's a new day and a new vlog. And for today's video, mag-a-unbox tayo ng aking first ever vlogging camera! Yay! For this video, may guest po tayo, oo. And dahil GCQ na, after almost 3 months, nakita na ulit kami finally ni... Boise! Kaya naman, in this video, super saya ko and excited ko. Kaya, without further ado, let's start! why I chose this camera over others but before that let me unbox this and show you what's inside and the unit itself sa box niya super gaan and liit niya lang since it's a compact camera and <laughs> so since tinest out na to sa store na pinagbilhan sa kanya nakat na yung seal niya dito. So, ito siya. Pag binuksan, ayan. Ito yung mga nasa loob niya. Isa-isahin natin. So, nakalagay dito yung kanilang free 16GB SD card. Bukas na rin siya kasi tinry na nga din. And then, meron tayo ditong uh, warranty. And then, meron din tayong leaflet dito about the SD card customer registration form and the receipt syempre so, and meron tayo dito set of manuals in different languages English and the other language and then meron din sila dito uh, manual or guide how to uh, operate yung kanyang wifi certified and NTC connection para makapag transfer easily ng mga files from uh, computer and smartphones. Then, ito another reflet lens ng, ng nasa ibang language. So, ganito siya. Ayan, ang kanyang loob. So, nandito yung kanyang mga accessories. Kasama na dito yung ang tawag dito? Wristband. Para mas madaling mahawakan or hindi madaling mahulog since napakaliit nga niya. Ito. And then, yung kanyang uh, charger adapter. And the uh, USB to micro USB cord. And of course, nandito rin yung kanyang battery. So, ayun. Ito yung unit ng Sony DSC WX500. Um, sa piece sa Sony website, meron tong three color variants. Yung red yung black and yung white. So, yung nabili namin is yung black variant. More premium design dahil sa color black nga. Yun. So, masasabi ko lang, ang liit niya and ang gaan niya. Uh, meron siyang 58.1 by 101.6 by 35.5 millimeters na dimension. So, kung makikita nyo, kasyang kasya siya sa kamay ko. So, tapos, um, Kapag may battery na siya, umaabot sa 236 grams lang yung yung weight niya. So, ayun, kung gaan niyang gamitin. So, okay din kasi meron siyang, uh, pwede siya lagyan na strap para, ayun, kasi sobrang gaan nga niya. So, baka mahulog siya. So, yun, uh, added security, ano yun, um, feature. So, for the parts, Start tayo sa top portion ng ating camera. So, meron tayong on and off button, shutter button, yung mode dial, yung ating zoom lever, and yung flash pop-up switch. Tapos, sa front naman, meron tayong yung ating self-timer lamp and yung ating lens. Tapos, sa rear part naman, meron tayong movie button. Ginagamit siya for videos. 
meron tayong function button, menu button, yung control wheel, playback button, yun yung ating um, in-camera in guide or pwede rin siya gamitin as delete button. Po sa right side naman, meron tayong multi-micro USB port for charging. Ayan. Tapos, yung hook strap na pwede mapaglagyan ng strap. Ayan. So, sa bottom part naman, may kita yung tripod socket hole, HDMI port, um, battery and SD card cover. Ayan, buksan natin. Ayan, sa loob, yung battery lock lever, ito, itong blue. Ayan, dito nilalagay yung uh, battery, tapos sa baba naman yan is yung SD card. So I have here six reasons why I chose this Sony Cybershot DSC WX500 as my first ever vlogging camera. And let's get to it one by one. Unang unang naka-attract talaga sa akin kay Sony DSC WX500 is yung kanyang compact size at flip screen. Na halos kahawig talaga ni G7X na aking first choice. By the way, yung kanyang effective pixels is 18.2 megapixels compared to uh, G Canon G7X Mark II na 20 megapixels. It has 3 inches LCD screen and features a 180 degrees tilting for shooting at various angles. Yung pangalawa na nagustuhan ko sa kanya is yung kanyang 30 times optical zoom lens. So, mag insert ako ng mga video clips dito para ma-visualize nyo what I'm trying to say. So, it has 30 times optical zoom says Vario Sonar Lens which has a 35mm focal length equivalency of 24 to 720mm. In addition, this camera has 60 times digital zoom to allow you to effectively double the optical zoom range for distant image capture. Pangatlong reason kung bakit nagustuhan ko tong camera na to is yung kanyang Wi-Fi and NFC capabilities to quickly share images to smartphones and computers. kanyang optical steady shot hybrid image stabilization and noise cancellation from feature Lastly, yung ideal vlogging camera for me as a newbie is yung budget-friendly of course. As I mentioned the above criteria that I look for, 
I know some of them, meron din talaga si G7X. Pero ang naging tiebreaker talaga is yung price. So, I bought this one for 16,999 pesos. Roughly 8,000 difference from G7X. And I think that says a lot. Kasi yung mga features naman na nagustuhan ko sa G7X is nandito rin kay Sony. So, hindi ako nagsisisi na ito yung pinili kong first ever vlogging camera ko. And as I said, this is only my first. I can invest more sa iba pang cameras in the future. So I think it's justifiable that I settle to it rather than dun sa mas mahal na unit with almost the same features naman that I'm looking for. As a newbie, talagang budgetarian pa tayo kaya we really need to balance things out to maximize our resources. So, so that's, that's it. it! I hope na nag-enjoy kayo and you get something out of this video and nakatulong rin kami sa mga newbies kagaya ko na gusto rin bumili or nagpa-plan bumili ng kanilang first ever vlogging camera. And I hope you like this video and if you do, click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Also, click the notification bell beside it para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang videos na gagawin namin. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye! <music>